Hi, I'm Justina Machado, and I am so excited to partner with El Cine to help raise funds for the LA Food Bank. Your donation is vital to distributing healthy food for hungry neighbors in LA County during this pandemic. So I'm gonna read a book that my friend Magda let me, and it is called Tito Puente, Mambo King, El Rey del Mambo. I thought I'd read it in my uh, pink onesie because I don't know, it just makes you feel comfy and oh, nice inside. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, clap your hands for Tito Puente. The Mambo King plays and sways as people dance the Mambo, the Rumpa, and the Cha Cha Cha. Before he could walk, Tito was making music. He banged spoons and forks on pots and pans, windowsills and cans. Look at him, he's just banging away. Tung -ta -ting -tong -tong. <laughs> he was so loud, his neighbors in Spanish Harlem said, Lleven ese niño a tomar clase de música. And that is exactly what his mother did. Look at that. Tito loved to dance too. Tap, 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 tippy, tap, tap. Every year, his church held the Stars of the Future contest. Little Tito danced and spun and tapped and drummed, and Tito won! He was named King of the Stars. Over the years, Tito became king four times. When he wasn't playing music, Tito played baseball with sticks on the streets of his neighborhood. Tito performed at parties, restaurants, and clubs. His first band was called Los Happy Boys, and their music made people very happy. Whoa. During World War II, Tito was in the Navy. He joined the ship's band and learned to play the saxophone and write music. After the war, Tito went to the Juilliard School of Music and dreamed of having his own band. On weekends, Tito played magical mambos and beautiful cha-chas with different bands at the Palladium Ballroom in New York City. People loved dancing to salsa and the rhythms of Tito and his timbales. Still, he wished he could be the band leader. Look at everybody dancing and having a good time. Tito's dream finally came true when he led his very own big band, the Tito Fuente Orchestra. He wrote music and recorded more than 100 albums. He made music with Celia Cruz, Santana, and La Lupe. When the Tito Fuente Orchestra played, the tambourine sounded like rain on metal roofs. The horns blew high and loud and strong and low. The clavis smacked clackety clackety clack clack and everyone's feet went tappity tap. Best of all, Tito played the timbales. In 1979, Tito won a very special award called a Grammy. The first of five, it was a way of saying, thank you Tito, thank you Mambo King, Thank you for making us want to dance and sing. The dancers twirled, the lights swirled, and the mambo went on and on. It's Tito Puente's story. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is a bilingual picture book by Monica Brown, and it's illustrated by Rafael Lopez.